So I decided to have a little fun here since I was already writing, since I was already working with the uh, temperature controllers here. I, had, I bought this on eBay. This is a 110 volt relay. You can see, try that light up. You can see there's where you plug in your, uh, ooh, I guess you can't. There you go. It's got it on the left. Normally closed, normally open. Or normally closed, commonly open. Or common and uh, normally closed. So normally open, common, and normally closed. I got it wired in to pin number three here in the Arduino. I uh, got it powered from my breadboard here. These, these two wires up here. And I wrote some code. So you can see how this works here. So you can see that sensor one is it's currently at 80 degrees. Low temp is 81, high temp is 81, hence the reason why this board is on. But if I take my finger and I pinch the sensor, it should start to heat up here. There it goes, 87. I'm just taking samples every minute. 89. 89. I think it's 91. It'll shut the sensor off. So there it says is low. You can see the sensor shut off. Now if I release my finger it'll actually start to cool it. So you see it says is low and it allows for I think like a variance of 10 degrees or something like that. So that way you know since since nothing is perfectly energy efficient you don't want it kicking the light on and kicking the light off. So 85, 84 Four still. Two. One more degree, and we'll kick it on. Let's hold over here. It'll we'll turn on. So at eighty-two. We'll get there. Let's see if I fan it a little. There we go. I kicked it on, and if this had one hundred and ten volts into it, it would. Um, so you take your your electric side, your 110 volt here, plug it in, and then you would jumper it off here to whatever device you're powering. In this case, it would be a heat lamp. So, um, and you would, I believe you'd do that on the normally closed side, because when that light turns on, that would, that would make it click. Now, if I had two of these, I could do heating and cooling together. So if it got way above, if it got above 91, it would actually cool it down to say like 85 or something and then it would be able to sit there until it heated up past 91. You wouldn't want to go all the way down to the low temp I don't think because then it would just kick the heat right back on. So anyways, so yeah, you'd, you'd be fighting back and forth. Anyways, so I just, that was kind of fun project to mess with. I don't have the 110 volt plugged in yet, but I will soon. Thanks.